Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 23rd of June, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 4, the reading Jonathan Edwards, 1703, 1758. Let us be exhorted to exalt God alone and to ascribe to him all the glory of redemption. Let us endeavor to obtain and increase in a sensibleness of our great dependence on God, to have our eye to him alone, to mortify a self-dependent and a self-righteous disposition. Man is naturally exceedingly prone to be exalting himself and depending on his own power of goodness as, as though he were he from whom he must expect happiness and to have respect to enjoyments alien from God and his spirit as those in which happiness is to be found. And this doctrine should teach us to exalt God alone as by trust and reliance, so by praise. Let him that glorieth glory in the Lord. Hath any man hope that he is converted and sanctified and that his mind is endowed with true excellency and spiritual beauty and his sins forgiven and he received into God's favor and exalted to the honor and blessedness of being his child and an heir of eternal life? Let him give God all the glory who alone makes him to differ from the worst of men in the world or the miserableness of the damned in hell. Hath any man much comfort and strong hope of eternal life? Let not his hope lift him up, but dispose him the more to abase himself and reflect on his own exceeding unworthiness of such a favor and to exalt God alone. Is any man eminent in holiness and abundant in good works? Let him take nothing of the glory of it to himself, but ascribe it to him in whose workmanship we are created in Christ Jesus unto good works. The prayer, Ignatius Loyola, 1491-1556. Teach us, Lord, to serve you as you deserve to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen.